So we define employee engagement as the level of discretionary effort employees are willing to give an organisation. It's an emotion, so it's really hard to put your finger on it, and that's why we have to measure a whole range of factors that are actually contributing to either building or, break, or breaking that employee engagement in order to help companies maximise that. When we talk about discretionary effort, that's the level to which employees want to do a better job or do the best job that they can. Everybody has KPIs, you can do very little to meet those KPIs because you know what the minimum standard is. To go above and beyond is something else and that's what we're wanting uh, employees to do. So we have seen trends where comp for companies that definitely have higher levels of engagement, they talk to their employees around what is it that the company is trying to achieve. So around not only the vision and the mission and the values but the strategy. How does everyone in the company play the vital role in helping that strategy be achieved? So when people have a sense of purpose and know the piece of the puzzle that they um, play in that strategy, they're more than likely to think outside the square, collaborate with other employees, think about how can they make their um, job better, faster, more efficient. And really this is where engagement is starting to come to life, when employees do more than what is just requ required of them to ensure that the company becomes successful. Creating engagement is time consuming. It's not costly in terms of money, it's actually costly in terms of time because you have to be repetitive and tenacious and continue to reinforce the same message over and over again. So um, that's where most of the pushback comes because it's a little bit too hard. 